All right, so what's going on, y'all? It's your man, Hellfire, with MachineMasters.com. Back with another MPC 2.0 tutorial. And in this one, I'm going to go over with you guys how to use the brand new Q-Link modes. Now, this is one I don't see a lot of people talking about, so I'm not sure if you guys know about this new feature or if maybe you guys just don't know how powerful it is. So I'm going to just go over this new feature real quickly and show you guys what it can do. So right off the bat, if I hold this Q-Link button here on hardware, you can see that I have five different Q-Link modes. I got project, program, pad scene, pad parameter, and then screen. So we're gonna start off with screen, which is the default, and which is also basically how it's always worked since MPC 1.0. It's just now there's some different assignments to the Q-Links by default. So basically what the, what the screen mode is gonna do is gonna control whatever parameters are on the screen. So right now I'm in main mode. You can see on bank one, which is on the bottom here, you're gonna have your time correct, which is your quantize. You're gonna have your swing, your shift timing and your timing correct strength. If I go to bank two, you got the program level, which is gonna change the level of the currently selected program, which would be this channel here. You got the program pan, uh, you got your metronome on off, and then you have your metronome level. Then you got current track, which changes the track, the track length, which is your independent track length, uh, your velocity transpose, then you got your, your uh, tempo, then you got your bars amount of bars then you have your loop section so and you can see if i go to another mode like sample edit the q links are going to change according to that mode if i go to program edit is going to change according to that mode so let's say i want to do some real time swing on my kick i go to my kick track and i select my kick all right you can see that if i if i change the swing of this it's going to change it in real time as soon as i let go of the knob all right so let's hear that in context all right all right so that's that and uh, basically every other thing on here is going to work pretty much in real time just like that. Now I'll go over that real time swing function in another video, but for now, that's what you can do with it in this case. So, so let's say I want to do some other modifications to my actual pads and not actually what's on the screen. So I'm going to hold the Q link button, bring up the Q link menu, and I'm going to go to pad scene. And you can see that it gives me all of these different parameters for the selected pad. So you can see over here right now, I have my kick. If I tap another pad, it's gonna change to that. So whatever is the last pad I tapped is the one that's gonna be affected by these Q links. So if I go to the mixer, right? You can see on my return channels that I have a delay and a reverb. So I can use this method to send my pads to effects or send my programs to effects. So let me just demonstrate how you can use this pad scene mode to, let's say, send my snare to a reverb. So there's my snare on A15. I know I have my reverb on send two. So I'm gonna press the Q link to bank to where my sends are. I'm gonna just turn up my snare sin. All right, and it's that simple. And also, um, you also have pad filter, so I can filter my snare. change the tuning of it all right and you know it's pretty dope and by default the filter is going to be a low pass filter and and what these parameters are controlling is basically your program edit parameters for your selected pad so when i change my filter you can see it's basically going to change this parameter here 
So these are basically controlling your program edit from any mode. So any mode that I'm in, this is going to, you know, control my program edit for my selected pad. So you have to be careful because one thing I do by accident all the time is I go back into sample edit to try to, you know, chop some more samples up and I forget that I'm in pad scene mode and then I'll go start, you know, changing some cue links to try to chop a sample up and what I'm doing is basically changing all my settings, you know, for my selected pad. So you want to be careful um, to remember that when you go back into sample edit to chop something up, you want to go back and put this back on screen mode. So just, you know, remember that and, you know, keep that in the back of your mind. So, and then, you know, you got other things like the level for your snare. All right, so let's say I want to send my main sample to a delay. I want to go to my main sample track. And since I want to send every pad to the delay, I don't want to do each one individually. So in this case, I'm going to do it by program. So I'm going to hold my Q link to change the mode and I'm going to go to program. And you're going to see it basically gives me all of my different program parameters. So I have the volume, I have the sends, I have the master tune, I have the mute, solo, pan, etc. All right, so I'm going to play this and I'm going to go to my sends and I'm going to send the program to send one, which is where I have my delay. So that's pretty cool, right? And then you have the project mode, which is basically going to do all the sounds in your project at the same time. So let me demonstrate that. So you can see it's turning down the entire beat. I can pan the entire beat. And I can mute it. The last one you have is your pad parameters. So basically what this is gonna do is this is going to, let's go back to the drum track. These are basically gonna control each pad on a one-to-one -one basis. So this is gonna be, this one here is gonna be my pad A1. The next one will be A2. A3 and etc. So this is basically going to let you change a parameter of every pad in your program and it's going to be based on whatever parameter you designate to that cue link. And let me show you how to do that. So, if we go into menu, you're going to see we have this new cue link edit. And this is going to bring us to our cue link edit mode. And this mode is where we can customize the cue links to have whatever parameter that we want on them so this will probably be used mostly in this pad parameter mode because you might not want to only change the level for your pads you might want to change something else like the panning so this is where you do that at so what you do is you go to this parameter field and this is going to let you change what parameter these cue links are controlling so right now it's on level i can change it to panning so all my cue links will pan I can change it to pad mute, so they'll mute, solo, you know, basically all of these different parameters. You can also double tap this to bring up the list and pick the one you want like that. Level is obviously the default. And right up here at the top is going to show you exactly what these parameters are controlling. So this is going to tell you that this is going to control all Q links. So, you know, whatever this parameter field changes is going to apply to all 
16 Q links. Now, if we go to another mode like pad scene, you can see that it's going to tell you which Q link is being controlled. So right now it's saying I'm on Q link two. And if I want to adjust another Q link, I can either just tap it like that, or I can tap it on the screen like that. And it's going to change the bank and everything for me. And again, this is basically going to let you designate which parameter this Q link controls. So right now, uh, Q link two, if I want that to do something else like pad mute, I can have it do that, you know, do it whatever I want. And it's going to give you that same um, list of settings. And you can go ahead and you can do that for, you know, every pad. So you can customize each pad however you want it. And this is going to be real important for you guys that do live performances because you can, you know, tailor your MPC to perform the way you want for your audience. The same thing with program mode. It's going to tell you Q-Link 2 does what? You know, blah, blah, blah. Same with project. Screen mode. This one is not customizable because it's going to basically do, you know, whatever is on the screen at the time. So that one's just going to be all of your default Q links. You can't really customize this one. You don't really need to. All right, so the other feature I wanted to show you guys in here is called the momentary. So basically what that's going to do, if I turn that on, right now I'm on level. If I turn the level down, it's going to stay there as long as I hold on to the Q-Link. And as soon as I let the Q-Link go, it's going to go back to what the last setting was. And this setting applies to this Q-Link on every pad. So it's going to be on for every... Pad. If I go to a different Q link, it's going to be off. So let's just demonstrate that in the uh, context of the beat and we'll see what it does. So I'm on my kick. And you can basically do that with, you know, any parameter on here. And where this new Q-Link mode is really going to shine is on the brand new MPC-X because you're not going to have to bank through the Q-Links because you're going to have 16 Q-Links um, versus the four on the MPC Live. So it's going to be a lot more efficient. And I think you guys are really going to enjoy this new mode on both of the new hardwares, especially for you guys that do live performances. So yeah, that's basically it. I think I went over everything. I don't think I left anything out. If you guys got any questions, make sure you drop them down in the comment box and I'll try to get to them when I have time. I hope you guys enjoy this new Q-Link mode. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Be on the lookout for more and I'll catch you guys later. All right, peace.